Uh, while no Credit Suisse executives will be heading to jail for facilitating widespread tax evasion, a New York City judge has sentenced an Occupy Wall Street protester to three months in jail and five years of probation. Cecily McMillan was arrested in March 2012 as protesters tried to reoccupy Zuccotti Park. She was convicted of deliberately striking an officer with her elbow. McMillan says she swung her arm instinctively after being grabbed in the right breast from behind. McMillan faced up to seven years in prison. Her case sparked a national outcry and pleas for leniency, even from a majority of the jurors who initially found her guilty. Many of her supporters say the trial should have been about the police assaulting her, not vice versa. After Monday's sentencing, supporters of McMillan spoke outside the courthouse. The speakers included Lucy Parks of the Justice for Cecily support team and McMillan's surrogate mother, El Nairobi Moss. But first, her lawyer, Martin Stoller. History will say that uh, there was over-policing of the Occupy Wall Street movement and that Cecily McMillan became an object of prosecution. I don't see any reason why Cecily would be prosecuted for a felony except to send a message out that says, do not get yourself involved in protests, do not get yourself involved in demonstrations, otherwise we're going to severely deal with you if we have a reason to do so. The fact that 90 percent of all the Occupy arrests were dismissed tells me that the police department made such bad arrests that not even the DA's office could go forward and prosecute them. How did this case compare with you? You said you, you, you've done this a long time. This this case any different or it, it, this it stands case out is, at all? It's extraordinarily different. It is a felony for assaulting a police officer. There are half a dozen other charges that were brought for people from Occupy that are accused of assaulting a police officer, but they were dropped. They were lowered. People were given ACDs, people were given read pleaders, and people took disorderly conduct. Will there be an appeal? There will be an appeal. The notice of appeal was filed this morning, um, and appeal will be conducted um, to try to get a new trial and remove the stain of a felony conviction from Cecily's record. Yeah. We have a statement from the Justice for Cecily support team that I'm going to read for y'all. So today, Cecily McMillan was sentenced to 90 days in prison for being sexually assaulted by a police officer at a protest and then responding to that violence by defending herself. We all know that Cecily did not receive a fair trial and this case will be fought in the Court of Appeals. The sentencing of Cecily McMillan has elicited an array of deeply felt responses from a broad range of individuals and communities. And it has also created a moment to think about what solidarity means. For many of us who consider ourselves to be a part of the Occupy movement, there's first and foremost a simple and deep sadness for a member of our community who has endured a painful and demeaning physical and sexual assault and now has had her freedom taken away from her. Cecily's mama, Nairobi Moss, has a few words that she wants to say with us. My child has never been a martyr. What she is, is hope. What she is, is a testament to the generations that you can speak out and that your voice is not in vain. I just got a text from Cecily's father that says she's been vocal since she came out of the womb. <laughs> and she really has. <laughs> but without you guys and without your support, this trial, this case, what has happened here would not have gone so far or reached so wide. And we definitely want to thank you for all of your support. Cecily McMillan, again, has been sentenced to 90 days in jail. To talk more about this case, James Henry still with us, former chief economist at McKinsey & Company, lawyer, economist, senior advisor to the Tax Justice Network, and also joining us, Ryan Devereaux, staff reporter at The Intercept. He also covered the Occupy Wall Street movement as a Democracy Now! fellow and reporter for The Guardian, and was there the night Cecily McMillan was arrested. Um, first, to James Henry, your, you know, this contrast of Credit Suisse um, the uh, this the settlement that was reached with Credit Suisse and who goes to jail an Occupy protester. Well, I think this is just one of many such contrasts. We have the Obama Justice Department. To me, is a mystery. I mean, they go after whistleblowers like uh, you know no one has ever done before. They go after Aaron Schwartz, who was a hacker up in Boston, a very uh, talented guy. You know, ultimately committed suicide. Who ultimately committed suicide. I mean, I have a, it's a hard for me, especially when I look at the history of the behavior of the financial institutions and uh, the lack of integrity across the board, not only Credit Suisse, but the top 22 banks have been involved in 
you know, as Credit Suisse was in LIBOR rigging, currency uh, rigging, uh, the uh, credit uh, frauds of the mortgage collapse, uh, money laundering, just rampant cases across the board. And they're basically uh, getting away uh, with murder here. I think this is a disparity in sentencing. Uh, you know, it's like they get time off for bad behavior. Brian Devereaux, you were there the night Cecil McMillan was arrested. If you could set the scene for us, what was that protest like? Yeah, so it was uh, six months after the initial occupation, and throughout the day it was a celebratory mood, and into the evening uh, occupiers had sort of uh, strung up some tents uh, across the park with some wire. Um, the police uh, didn't like this. They moved in. There was a call to disperse. Uh, 100, 150 or so occupiers had sort of gathered in the middle of the park, and the police just came in row after row after row. And I, you know, as Amy said, I'd covered Occupy basically every day, every every sort of action that happened. And that night stands out to me as probably the most violent night that I witnessed, including um, the evacuation, the initial evacuation of the park. Um, Who was committing the violence? Uh, the, the police department, uh, the NYPD, they came in and I, I literally saw protesters dragged by their hair, um, you, know, act, you know, heard people screaming in pain.